All right, we got some off-road trophy trucks. Oh, he's gonna get a time penalty for jumping that light. Green flag, green flag. Pentagon, Let's see if we can not get butchered into the first turn. Gonna try and stay as tight in as we can and not get involved with anything. Trying to not get wrecked. For the first few moments of this race. No, oh, that guy's getting bumped behind us though. And he's gonna get a time penalty for jumping the light too. So we have that in our pocket. We got 10 laps. Try not flip the truck either. Got a bit of a run off that last turn. Stadium truck, so much fun here at I Racing. On the Moza R9 with the CS or RSV2. Ooh, that turn I definitely need to work on. But we got this so far. Oh, that one's wide. I don't know if I like that. That guy got really close on the inside of me through that. We managed to pull a little bit through this section. Trying to minimize how much the truck slides around on me. Like drifting, but not really. <laughs> Trying to utilize that bump to throw the car around. We got a bit of a lead on him. I don't know if we'll be able to hold that for 10 laps now. They catch up a lot when we go into breaking zones, but then we pull a little bit, so as long as they don't get tagged in one of these zones. Oh, this is probably gonna gain some ground on me on that one. Trying to utilize two foot, two feet right now. We we managed to uh, have a second place qualifying in this. We managed to make it to the first turn. Hopefully, we don't get a penalty for that. That's risking it. Oh, they lost it! I think those two got hit. Oh, I think second and third collided. We are probably in the clear now. Just to run our own race. Bringing this next level Moza Racing Pro Truck 2 to hopefully a win here. As long as we don't, I don't know why I'm pushing clutch like I can use clutch. He gained some ground though. Four laps into this 10 lap race. I risk it really much through that bumpy section through this turn to try to go as fast as I can through that section. I'm risking flipping the truck. Been having a lot of fun on iRacing. We'll be doing a lot of iRacing big races and things here in the near future coming into the new year. Why do I keep hitting clutch? I'm just so instinctively hit clutch. Oh, we almost lost it there. So we'll be adding this to the mix of content coming into the new year. We tag team with uh, some partners and stuff like that in some racing and endurances and things like that. Like I said, this is like drifting, but not. <laughs> but we do have a pretty steady lead. Just gotta not flip the truck or get a cut. We're particularly very close to getting a cut on that. 
halfway through the race. On lap six. Ooh, that was a pretty good. Why do I gotta stop hitting clutch? <laughs> I'm just doing it instinctively, and my foot feels bored. Well, I think we're free and clear. So far in this race, as long as we can maintain this speed, I think we'll be okay. We're in the 57s. I need to get down to the 56s. I feel like he's in the 56s. But that would not be enough time for him to catch up in the end by the end of this race. Even if he gains a second on a second a lap on me. We got a 2.7 second lead. Not the best turn. Now he's got 2.4. I think he might have been in it. Nope, he's there. Gotta try and stay in the lead with this. 2.3. Using that curb of dirt to try and pull me around. We did gain some ground on that. Back to a 2 7, 2 6. Our lap 8. I feel like that was a faster way to take that. So he gains on me there. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh, he's gonna definitely gain some ground on me there. Still at a 2.4 though. Now we're at a three second gap. Point eight. I think we're should be okay with two laps left. Because oh I believe he does have a time penalty too for jumping the start. So I think we will have our advantage with that. Also, that's something I learned with these trucks. There is no clutch. So at the start, you kind of rev it in neutral and then drop it into first. The amount of times that I used to jump the start in these trucks is astronomical. I've done it a lot. Right, so as long as we don't screw this up, we still got a 2.7 gap. He's still back there. Oh, he hit the wall. I think I saw him hit the wall. One more lap. White flag, nice and smooth. That was not nice and smooth. Close, I've taken that turn all race. Got one more to go. I think we have a commanding lead on this. As far as my auto tear off is not tearing off, and I don't know what my tear off button is. You'll figure the last lap would make it really hard to see. Oh, he went hard into that wall. Oh yeah, he went hard into the wall. We're gaining a huge gap on him now. Over five seconds. One more corner to go. I can't see anything. I mean, I can see, but not how I'd like to. We're gonna go ahead and take this win in this off-road series. Heck yeah. That's a win. With no incident points too. I will take it. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. 
As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. If you guys want to keep seeing more here on iRacing, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on the track.